Hi, this video is on using Lead Finder Jack to send this type of email. This is an email with an image of what looks to be a video in, in the message. And the intention, of course, is to get the reader to click on here and take action. So before we get to this part, we have some setup work to do. And the first thing that I did was I logged into a domain and I'm going to actually install a new theme. You can use whatever theme you want. This one is a nice one. It's, it's the video prospector theme. So we're going to install this and this is in the standard local theme jack settings. So I'm going to install this, import the theme. So we go to the local theme jack membership site and find video prospector. And here are the videos. You can grab one of the URLs for the uh, mail or female and I believe there's Australian and UK so you select whichever URL you want to use copy it come back to theme jack and the slider and you put the link in here so this is the video that will show up on home page and you can set it to play automatically I never do it bugs the pants off me when it does and we will save changes and here is our lead gen site so if you don't like this video you can always go back to theme local theme jack and select a different video Okay, before we send out any email, you want to make sure that all of your information on your site, if this is a new setup, you want to make sure that all your contact information is up to date and correct. This is the information that is just automatically loaded into the ThemeJack sites when they're installed, so none of it is accurate. Now we will go to Lead Finder Jack and I have a dance schools in Austin. We go to email and let's see. I don't have video prospector so you go to library and video prospector Jack email and download and now I will modify the email and we insert the video token here. I need to get this URL. This is where the video is located. And we'll insert the video token here and paste the website URL and click OK. So now it has the video token and you want to edit and add your name and maybe your phone number and if you need to edit anything else here you can go ahead and do that and it has a token in the subject line so it would put the company URL here and it's about a video and it's going only in HTML and say, oh, I set the maximum width at 450 and save. You can enter any other tokens if you want. Save. Now we go to campaigns and by default it will load the last campaign that was run and you can also click this little drop down arrow here and select 
leads that you've already searched for. Okay, so now we will select email and we want Video Prospector Jack and we're going to move this from the available email over to the email to send and the zero here means that the email will be sent immediately. Click OK and this email campaign is now connected with this search list. You can select all email and it will send an email to everybody in a single business. It will not send a message to addresses like info or service at or uh, webmaster etc. admin or you can auto select and the system will select just the first or most appropriate email address from each business. So I will do and then we want to send a test email and the test email is going to my personal email address and you click on start email campaign. <coughs> <laughs> Okay, so I was also just notified that one of the email addresses that was selected is not a valid email address. So let me deselect and auto select. Okay, here we are in my Gmail inbox, and this is the test email. And remember when I said about setting the line length to about 450 characters. If I hadn't, this message would have gone right across the screen. I just wanted to give you a visual. This is what an email in an inbox on a wide monitor looks like. So it's not so easy to read. You want to make reading your email as easy as possible for the recipient. So format, it doesn't have to be 450, but play around with it and see what works best for you. It is a good idea to format the email. Okay, so when the recipient looks at this, there's this nice big red button in the middle and it looks just like a video. So who can resist clicking on this button and when they do click on the button they will be taken to your lead gen site and this is it for setting up video prospector jack